Yesterday, we put on the two cross coats with a foam brush and we let that dry overnight. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to spray on a cross coat with a spray gun prior to sanding and getting it ready for the last two cross coats with a spray gun. Before we spray it, we have to go over and need, need to make sure that any of the little foam particles from the foam brush, if they're, if they're in that finish from the cross coat of the, of, the, uh, uh, of the brush, we have to remove those. So what we're going to do is take a, a small piece of 320 grit sandpaper, we're going to go over the entire wing, we're not really sanding it. What we're going to do is just, if there's any of those little foam particles, we'll get, we need to get them off because that will continue to build up and, and be rough as we go. And if we do it right now, it only takes a few minutes, so we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and take the sandpaper, and what we want to do is just, just take off and just basically what we're doing is just sealing the surface. And if there's any little particles or dust or whatever, it just wipes right off. It, uh, we're not really sanding, we're just smoothing the surface prior to putting on the top coat. So we're going to do the entire wing like that. And as soon as we, uh, we get finished with this, we'll come back and we're going to wipe it and blow it off with air. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put it in the spray gun and go ahead and put the next cross coat on. And uh, that's the next step of the finishing process. Okay, we've got the wing all sanded off and we're getting ready to put our uh, cross coat with a spray gun. But now, since we've sanded it, what we need to do is to blow it off. We're going to use a, a terry towel that's a... It's uh, about 18 inches square and compressed air and what we're going to do is we're going to wipe and blow. So here we go. Okay, we'll go around to the other side of the wing and do the same thing. When we get all through, we'll go ahead and do that and then we're going to come back and then the next step, we're getting ready to start spraying. So that's where we're at at this point. We're going to use the same eco fill that we used with the foam brush on the first cross coat. And this, we're going to stir it up every time that we use any paint, regardless if it's an hour or overnight or whenever, always stir it prior to using it. The uh, eco fill is ready to use right out of the container. It doesn't need to be thinned or reduced. So we're going to stir it up. We're going to use a paint filter and we're going to put it in a spray gun. Then we're going to go spray our cross coat. We're going to use a, a standard medium paint filter. What I use is just put it right in the paint gun and just lean this right over the edge of the bench and pour it in. It's real easy to do that. We'll put about a half a pot in there. We'll be careful you don't run it over. Okay, let's go spray. Okay, we're going to talk about how to set the spray gun up to spray our EcoFill. This is a DeVilbus Finish Line spray gun. We're going to use a 1.5 millimeter spray nozzle. And we're going to set the air pressure with the fan control opened all the way up. That's the top knob. We're going to open as far as it'll go. And then we're going to pull the trigger and we're going to set the air pressure to about 20 pounds. Uh, we want to be sure that the trigger is pulled when you set that because if you, if you set it with the trigger not pulled, when you start spraying, it, the pressure is going to drop off and you're not going to have enough. On the fluid control knob, you want to turn that all the way in. And this one has an index mark that you can see right here. If your spray gun doesn't have that, you need to take a magic marker or some kind of a, a pencil and put your line on there so you can see it. And what we want to do is open that one full turn. And once you do that, now this spray gun is ready to go. Okay, now the only thing we need at this setting, you're not going to have a lot of overspray, but we're going to wear a standard uh, charcoal respirator. And um, I usually don't wear long sleeve uh, uh, clothes with when I spray EcoFill, but you can. Like I say, you're not going to have a whole lot of overspray. So I'm going to put the respirator on. We're going to turn on the exhaust fan and we'll start spraying. We're going to start with the perimeter and go all the way around. We're going to catch the edges first and then we're going to start with our first cross coat sideways 
and I'll go immediately from there, we'll turn the wing over, we'll do the edges again, I'll do the top side, and then we'll continue right on, because by then the first coat will be dry enough for the second coat, which will be the end of the first cross coat uh, of the spray job. And then we're going to rotate the nozzle 90 degrees, and we're going to go up and down for, the, for that cross coat. And so, uh, here we go. We've got the exhaust fan on, and I'm going to go ahead and set the air pressure now. Like I showed you a minute ago, we're going to turn the fan control all the way on. We're going to pull the trigger, and we're going to get up to where we get about. That's good, right? Okay, we've just clipped the wing back over. We're going to do around the edges again. We always do the edges prior to doing the surface. So uh, we're going to do the edges, now we're going to catch the top side. And that'll be the first coat of the cross coat. And then we'll continue on from there. Now on a wing like this that has a tank bay in it, we've got the, uh, the first coat of the cross coat finished. We're going to come back now before we continue, we're going to go ahead and spray inside of here because we want to really treat inside of this tank bay with our eco fill. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, and what that does, it gives that fabric some really good protection in the case that you have a, a tank that leaks. We're going to go ahead and start the second coat of the first cross coat and this wing has been uh, just a few minutes from the time we did the tank bay until now and normally you can put one coat right after the other uh, of the eco fill. It's not, a, uh, it's not a big wait time between them. As soon as it goes from damp looking to dull looking it is ready for the next coat and that's the way this wing is right now. So we're going to go ahead and Put the, uh, we're going to do the edges again, then we're going to rotate our nozzle 90 degrees and go vertically this time, and that'll be the, the cross coat. Okay, I'm going to loosen this nozzle now, and we're going to rotate this 90 degrees because now we want the fan to come out sideways because we're going to go up and down with this next coat. Okay, that's the that's the end of the first cross coat with a spray gun. And at this point now, we're going to let the wing dry. We're going to do the second wing. Then we're going to come back and we're going to sand the entire wing panel, both of them, with a 320 grit open coat sandpaper. And then we're going to blow it off the same as we did before. Then we're going to put two additional cross coats. Now remember, this was one cross coat. So after it's sanded and thoroughly cleaned, and any tape edges or anything that's sticking up that needs ironed down, go ahead and do that. Then we're going to come back and we're going to spray two more cross coats exactly like we just did this one. 